night ride home. What we've been talking about the forces and whether we can all uh, rally our strength and uh, send stuff and parcels and and chats and and stuff that to the troops. And the Telegraph today, I know you will tune in for the quarter to seven on the newspaper review. Exodus of officers hit war on terror. Crisis in intelligence corps as experts quit. Um, so let me get down to the um, the military's ability to fight global terrorism is being hampered by an exodus of officers from the intelligence corps with 20% departing in the uh, past three years. Wow, that, I mean that's enormous isn't it? Defence sources have disclosed and what else have we got? Heavy rain could cause a flash flooding this week Forecasters warned yesterday, bringing more misery to one of the wettest summers on record. Do you really want to talk about that? I'm still not out of my winter clothes and fairly what not out of it. <laughs> well, you do, don't you? I mean, it's vitamin D or you get sad deficiency or something. More than one million pensioners are facing a bleak financial future, research shows today. One in five is yet to pay off a mortgage and one in three is racking up on average credit and personal debt of five, well, nearly £6,000, which is just awful. Nearly half of all hospital can uh, kitchens, and ca uh, kitchens and canteens in England could be failing to meet basic standards of cleanliness and hygiene, according to health reporters and holiday makers you're probably packing up even as we speak returning to britain are being warned they could face queues of up to three quarters of an hour to get through immigration checks at airports uh, the border and immigration agency is set 45 minutes as the time it's prepared to allow uk and eu passengers to wait to complete its formalities after introducing new passport scanning equipment the Daily Telegraph has learnt. Um, men well groomed. Oh, you do smell fragrant. British men are spending an increasing amount on toiletries, reflecting a growing interest in personal grooming figures suggested. Uh, market research company TNS said spending on men's toiletries last year was up 5%. Uh, more than a third of workers are suffering from email stress as they are swamped with messages, a study shows, and struggling to cope with a deluge of emails is leaving staff tired, frustrated and unproductive. And this is Sarah Kennedy saying, where are my second editions of the papers? Please, they're not there. So I'm stressed and frustrated as well. <laughs> Um, researchers from Glasgow and Paisley universities found more than a third. Oh, they're creeping in. Are they there? They are here for you now, Mum. Hello, dear. How are we? They're very, very well, thank you. Oh, well. excellent. That is Dame Ellen Didicoot. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Leave by the drain. Oh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> more than a third. <laughs> He's such a naughty boy. The mother of Madeleine McCann last night told how she desperately needs to know the fate of her daughter. Absolutely. We were talking about it at the weekend. I mean, she's got to be put out of her misery, hasn't she? Um, as Portugal's most senior police officer admitted, the four-year-old's disappearance was far from being solved. Um, we've got the bad break in Rooney's foot, which is a disaster, isn't it? Oh, God. Wayne Rooney has fractured his left foot, ruling him out of at least two of England's qualifying games. So that's down on the thing. We go on to the Times now. Um, there, there is beginning to get a little bit of the uh, st stupidness of the August. Nearly 200 people were treated for food poisoning after eating salmonella tainted and undercooked chicken sandwiches from a fast food restaurant in a Palestine refugee camp in Jordan. The owner of the restaurant in Bakar camp was arrested. We've got nearly half of all hospital kitchens and canteens in England could be failing to meet basic standards of cleanliness and hygiene, according to official uh, inspection report. Uh, Britain's frontline troops in Afghanistan are being killed at such a rate. Oh, we've got to get out of there, haven't we? I mean, why are we in there in the first place? 
uh, were to continue, one in 36 would not survive a six-month tour of the country. Don't, don't I, I know, just don't stop. Britain faces a champagne shortage because vineyard owners in eastern France are refusing to sell tens of millions of bottles stocked in their cellars. And coming down to Bristol, two hot air... Bristol? Bristol? Uh, two hot air balloons made an emergency landing in a suburban street, one in a resident's garden, because of low fog warning. The first landed in the garden of Mohammed Nassim, who's 50, of Muller Road, Horfield, Bristol, and the second touched down moments later in the middle of the street. So that's your times for you. Um, well, it's it's quite strange. If you if you do take the Guardian today, you know you always think of Princess Diana as being blonde. There's there's her hair completely and utterly dark. Why Diana still matters? Revealed cover up plan on energy uh, target. Government minister, mini, uh, officials, sorry, have secretly briefed ministers that Britain has no hope of getting remotely near the new European Union renewable energy target that Tony Blair signed up for in the spring. I'd always thought that was a little bit sniffy and have suggested they have found ways of wriggling out of it. So that's a guardian for you. Um, we'll just do a little bit of a trail about... Let's get that Ken Bruce again. Later this month, the 88 to 91 FM, BBC Radio 2. Thank you, Ken. And we go on to the Independent. And w once more, we're on to the, um, the Madeleine McCann, which I think is confusing all of us, isn't it? I mean, we just don't know what to believe. Uh, Madeleine McCann's parents were anxiously awaiting the results of the DNA test uh, on her blood, or, or anyone's blood, when we don't know whose blood it is, found in their holiday flat. Uh, relations between police and the McCanns are under strain after a senior officer said on television that four-year-old Madeline could be dead without telling her family first. The officer also officially confirmed the McCanns were not suspects. We've then got the foot and mouth outbreak could be effectively over next week if no new cases emerge. So I'm going to put that down... Um, down on the BBC carpet. The son, she may be dead. That is Madeleine McCann again. Former spaceman Buzz Aldrin defies gravity again by having a facelift at age 77. I must just tell you the time. It's seven minutes to seven. Uh, the US hero, second man on the moon when he landed with Neil Armstrong in 1969, went under the knife after his wife had a similar op in L.A. Now we know why Gordon Brown welshed on his promise to some readers. He could have guessed that our uh, ISPOs, Maury Pohl, would show 81% of you wanted a say on the new EU constitution. Yeah. But what worries Gordon most is that 6 out of 10 would reject it as a referendum. Mm -hmm. And the Daily Mail, we've got a new match for Lineker. He's got some new bird who's blonde and very nice looking. Um, babies on the beat. Two 16-year-olds have been recruited as police community uh, support officers with the authority to detain and question suspects. 16-year-olds? I leave it to you. Just I'm just, as Terry would always say, just passing it on. Uh, wasp wasted dark eyed this must be uh, uh, yeah this is Fergie Duchess of York she's posing on some couch she's seen reclining on a chaise longue uh, wearing a vampish dolce and gabbana tuxedo along with diamonds from taffin from James de Gavinci the black and white image was taken by renowned American photographer Mark Seliger whose subjects have included Sarah, um, Jessica Parker, Jennifer Lopez, Brad Pitt, and even goth rocker Marilyn Manson.